hear you. Trust me, we hear you. Activists shout down La Mesa City leaders at an event that got very tense very quickly. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. La Mesa leaders called reporters together to release body cam video of the confrontation between a La Mesa police officer and Amari Johnson near the Grossmont trolley stop last week. But the event with the police chief, the mayor and other leaders quickly grew heated when local advocates and activists demanded answers. News 8's Lamore Abrams begins our coverage tonight live from La Mesa. Lamore. Well, Barbara Lee and Carlo, heated would be an understatement. These protesters showing up in force here at the La Mesa Community Center, demanding to know why they say Amari Johnson was allegedly harassed by a white officer while waiting for his friends at a trolley station. Now, the chief of police and the mayor releasing body cam footage, but it appears to be quite heavily edited. Take a look at this. There you see Johnson sitting across from the Grossmont trolley station when the officer approaches him, that officer who claims Johnson assaulted him. But here's the big reveal. Johnson gets up and it appears he may have brushed or bumped the officer before the officer aggressively grabs and pushes Johnson down several times. Now, there is no audio of any of that. The audio begins seconds into the video when Johnson asks the officer to stop touching him. And the video doesn't begin at the start of the confrontation either, triggering the protesters even more. They're demanding to see full unedited body cam footage, which the department did not address, but the mayor did offer something else, announcing effective immediately that the city of La Mesa is joining the city of San Diego in banning the controversial chokehold. In addition, city officials acknowledge something needs to be done to correct alleged bad behavior. Take a listen. We will go back and do an internal review of our own self and our own police department to see what kind of extra training do we need? Do we need to go above and beyond when we talk about bias training, de-escalation training? We need, we need to make sure that our police force is diverse. You want to talk about building trust? The only reason why we are here is because your city burned down. If this city had not burned down, if there had not been chaos, you would not be here today. Well, that there was Dasha Williams. She ran for mayor and remains a big community activist in San Diego. Well, she rallied quite the crowd here. Of course, there you heard her alluding to the violent La Mesa protests over the weekend. And those protesters who were there came here using this press conference as an opportunity to shout at the police chief, again, demanding accountability. 